This video will present what a user can see, and interact with during a breadth first search user test. The following buttons on the controller can be used. The menu button on the left controller can move some of the objects near the pseudocode, since some of these can block the view depending on your location. Trackpad, teleport yourself around the scene, and for BFS you deck you a node by teleporting to it. The trigger button on the right controller can be used to enqueue nodes with the laser pointer, and interact with the menu buttons. Node selection will be enabled so that that we must choose the start node ourselves. The start node can be any of the nodes in the graph. When the start node has been selected and the start button clicked, then the start node will start to flash yellow, meaning we should enqueue it using the laser pointer. When a node has been enqueued, it will become permanently yellow. When a node start to flash blue, like this one, then it is time to decue it from the list. This can be done by teleporting to it. Here I'll do a mistake, which will make the node flash red and play an error sound. As you can see to the left of the pseudocode, when a node is enqueued to the list, then a node representation is added to the queue visualization. And when a node is decued, then the node will be moved out of the queue and placed in the current node position. The intermediate difficulty level does not provide pseudocode updates. Note that the graph is now built with directed edges. Let's try to enqueue these nodes that have directed edges from them to this node. As expected, it does not work. We were a bit unlucky with this try. Unreachable nodes does not get a second try, hence this is the end for this run. The implementation for graph algorithms are the following, start with the start node and traverse the sub-graph, in case there are any other sub-graphs which are unreachable, then ignore these and finish the round. The advanced difficulty level does not provide list visualization support. The examination difficulty level does not provide any support at all, except for sound effects. The colors of the nodes and edges are not considered as support, but more like making it easier to keep track of which nodes has been checked and traversed. 